Greg Selinger has been an MLA since 1999, a finance minister for a decade, and was the NDP premier for nearly seven years. He announced his retirement in February after revelations a minister in his former government had been accused of inappropriate behavior towards female staff. But today was a day for kudos and kind words from all seats in the legislature. During his time as finance minister, uh, the member for St. Boniface tabled uh, 10 consecutive balanced budgets, which is a remarkable achievement. Madam Speaker, I offer my sincere and heartfelt best wishes from one premier to another to the member for St. Boniface. An emotional Greg Selinger, nevertheless, had a lighthearted moment in his farewell speech. Before I start, I'd like to thank all the members for their uh, kind words today. You always know when your career is coming to an end when everybody's being nice to you. <laughs> that's, uh, it's just the way it goes. Salinger, deferring to a new party leader since losing the last election, has been virtually silent in the House in the last two years and wouldn't take a parting shot at the Pallister government on his last day. Actually, that's not the day to do that. Uh, but I appreciate the offer. This is a day to acknowledge everybody's contribution to making the province better. But the business of politics moves on fast, regardless of who's leaving. And the NDP started hammering on the government for cutting subsidies for equipment for people who suffer from sleep apnea. And the opposition brought along victims of the ailment to make the point. Heart disease, diabetes, all kinds of things are Im impacted by this. It's not just a matter of can I sleep comfortably at night. The government says it can save an estimated $4.9 million a year by charging for the equipment and says Manitoba will still have one of the more generous programs of its kind in Canada. The government has 15 pieces of new legislation intended for this session, climate change taxes and programs, red tape reduction, child welfare, and more rules around the sale of marijuana. Oh yeah, and a budget that many are saying has got real teeth in it. That's on Monday. Sean Cavanaugh, CBC News, Winnipeg.